first and foremost, shout out to Jalen Brown, the National Basketball Players Association vice president. He's holding this Kyrie situation down. He's not blowing in the wind. He's not burning the candle from both ends. He's standing 10 toes down and representing his member the way he should be represented. He's holding Joe Sa to the fire. Let's listen to what Jalen Brown had to say. You responded to Joe Sa's comment about Kyrie uh, on Twitter. What about that bothered you? Um, and what about Joe Sa's comment? And then what, if anything, that the league has done has bothered you? Yeah, his response was alarming to me. I tweeted that out yesterday. He didn't say that um, the organization was working together to get Kyrie back on the floor. He, he said that he had more work to do. Um, and our society has more work to do, including Joe Sa. And it's 2022. Um, it takes 10 minutes of time to see who, you know, these business owners, corporations, et cetera, who they're associated with, who they're doing business with, and who they're affiliated with. And um vice president of the union and it's part of my job to protect our players legally and to see Phil Knight first come out and condemn you know Kyrie Reed and also see Joe Sasse say he has more work to do I think it's time for a larger conversation and Adam came out and said a statement that he doesn't believe Kyrie Irving is anti-semitic um, yet he's still suspended indefinitely um, so those are my thoughts so how, what do you think the reaction should be with him uh, if, if that's not the way to do it? Like, what, what should be the response? Uh, I said this before. I think it's uncharted territory. I think it's no distinction between, you know, what somebody says versus some, what somebody posts. Um, and I guess that they, that's what they're trying to figure out, you know, the terms that the Brooklyn Nets instituted. Now, we could stop it there. I love Jalen Brown's demeanor. He's articulate. He doesn't let the media rattle him. He's clear and, his, and he's concise on where he stands. Now, let's be clear on what Jalen Brown is talking about when he say these business owners. He's talking about Joe Sa, right? When he's talking about these businesses, he's talking about the business that Joe Sa owns, which is Alibaba and how they are supporting genocide of the Uyghur Muslims in China, right? So that when he say that, you can spend 10 minutes and find out what's going on with people, right? And we all have work to do. Yeah, Joe Sa was saying Kyrie got work to do. But Joe Sa, you have work to do, right? Let's be clear. You support genocide. How can you even own an NBA team? Why nobody questioning that, right? This man is supporting genocide. Now, think about it like this. If you retweet something that people deem offensive, you could lose your livelihood because that's what we're seeing happen to Kyrie right now. But you could support genocide. Let me put this on the screen. You could support genocide and actually own an NBA team, right? And Jalen Brown also mentioned there needs there, there's possibly something else going on, and there needs to be a larger conversation or a larger situation. That larger situation is when Kyrie refused to take the juice. He basically did not let the money control him. They said, Kyrie, if you don't play, we're going to suspend you. He lost $14 million. He did not let the money control him. He basically said, listen, I'm doing what's best for myself, for my family, for my body. You could keep the money. And when people trying to control you, whatever mechanism it is they're trying to control you with, you refute it, they take offense to that. And that's what we've seen. So they not going to come to the table and say, yeah, you know what? We're mad at Kyrie Irving because he didn't take the juice. He didn't, he didn't abide by our buck breaking by using money as the, the means to control him. They're not going to say that. 
And what we're seeing right now is exactly what they're saying. We're seeing a modern-day lynching of a man who has the ability to think for himself. We are seeing buck-breaking tactics. We must pray for Kyrie. We must support Kyrie because I'm glad that it's starting these conversations. Hopefully the players will wake up because I'm going to tell these business owners, these NBA team owners this, without the players, you have nothing. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is Jalen Brown right for standing up for Kyrie? And is he right for calling out Joe Sy and his hypocritical stance when he supports genocide? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.